Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the X-Deep NX200 with the LS200 second stage. Um, so this is a very unique regulator. Um, X-Deep have made a fixed swiveling turret first stage and a very nice balanced second stage. Uh, this is gonna be a great all-rounder of a regulator. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how it arrives, uh, a nice cardboard box. It even says on the top, 0% single-use plastic packaging, 100% uh, environmentally friendly. Wonderful, that's what we like to see. Uh, serial numbers and barcodes on the side, and that's about it really. Um, inside of the box, we have the user manual, uh, and this is quite a, um, they put a lot of effort into this user manual. Uh, as it says at the bottom, read carefully, your comfort and safety is worth more than 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, have a quick flick through that um, when you get them, just so that you know all this, the ins and outs of your regulator. Uh, a bit of signature x deep tissue paper, all very nice. You can use that for I don't know, wedding invitations or something. Uh, and then we have our regulators on the inside. So I, take out some of this cardboard packaging. Um, so we have the LS200 second stage, and these are all loose so you can assemble them yourself. Uh, you have the, uh, the NX700 first stage, and then underneath a bit more cardboard, we have the uh, the hose. Uh, so yeah, let's take a closer look at each of these components. So starting off with the first stage, so this is the NX700 first stage, and this is, a very different first stage. This is what X Deep do. They kind of they take a familiar concept, they flip it on its side to make it better in most cases. So this is a five port swivel turret, which in a traditional design would mean that the swiveling turret, the low pressure ports would swivel in this direction on the bottom or sort of in this direction at the top. But with, with X Deep, they have two fixed low pressure ports and then three low pressure ports that sit on this swiveling turret. But it's not always swiveling, you can lock it in position, and that's quite clever. That means that for whatever equipment configuration you have, it can have that perfect hose routing. So if you want it in a upright configuration like this, you can screw this little peg in here, and that locks this rotating ring in position, so the three rotating low pressure ports vent out downwards. If you take a two and a half mil Allen key, you can actually unscrew that little post, take that out, and then this section here all rotates. You can either have that in completely rotating, so on a side mount configuration where you want the hoses routed down the length of the cylinder, but then if you need to donate gas, then that hose can then route forward, backwards, side to side, wherever you need it to. If you're in a twin set configuration and you want them to always go downwards in one particular direction, you can then, with these four little channels uh, sort of milled out into it, you can then put that post back in, either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, and that locks them so they're always in a downwards position. If you want it slightly off to one side, then you can use the, uh, the notch next to it, very, very clever, very unique. I've never seen this before in a uh, in a first stage. So on top of that, it's environmentally sealed. Uh, so you have this seal here and that allows it to uh, sort of help with the balancing with the ambient pressure. You have these heat sink fins. That's gonna help prevent ice from forming. And uh, that basically just prevents the first stage from getting too cold whilst you're using it. So especially good in colder waters. The fixed low pressure ports and the high pressure ports underneath them sit in these very unusual uh, sort of diagonally downwards fixed positions. So when they're attached onto a cylinder, the hoses naturally route away from the shoulders of the tank so it doesn't bend the hose, which is very clever. This is the DIN fitting, the DIN configuration, comes with a, a dust cap, so you unscrew that. Unusual that it has a DIN 232 fitting uh, instead of 300 bar. 300 bar isn't overly common, um, but a lot of first stages, they have 300 bars sort of out of the box, uh, but these are designed to work with 232 bar cylinders, so that's something worth noting. 
Uh, and that's kind of it for the uh, the first stage. Very clever in its uh, in its design. Very very different. Um, then we move on to the hose because the hose itself is quite interesting. So this is a. If you just kind of picked it up, it looks a lot like a. Um, uh, a rubber hose, but it's not actually rubber. Uh, this is some kind of polyurethane or something, and it's kind of gunmetal gray, but it's also transparent, so you can see through it. You can see the weave underneath. It's a lot like a uh, Miflex XT Tech hose um, in that it's it's a lot lighter than a rubber hose, but it doesn't have that scratchy outside. Um, and that gunmetal gray is very very different from anything else on the market, so that's quite interesting. Then onto the second stage itself, the L. S200. So the 200 has the breathing adjustment and the Venturi. The uh, the 100 only has the uh, Venturi adjustment. So as soon as the gas comes in, we have another heat sink. These fins here. That's going to help uh, prevent ice from forming. Uh, the second stage itself, overall, it has a bit of a weight to it, um, but it feels nice and solid. There's no rattle to it whatsoever. Um, the front cover is uh, is nicely sort of domed as well, which is very unusual. Slightly uh, sort of facing downwards, um, so purging it is a little bit easier. Purge button, you have that big solid button on the front uh, that you can sort of push on. You can unscrew this by hand very easily, uh, and then everything on the inside, this is uh, sort of really kind of fixed in position. You'd have to do some to uh, sort of remove that diaphragm. Um, but with this, if you did need to uh, sort of clear out some, uh, some debris, uh, you can do that on the go, and then get it back up and running uh, just as fast. As far as adjustment, we have two adjustments. You have the breathing adjustment, so you can screw this metal knob in here, and that uh, just makes it a little bit harder to uh, sort of open up that valve, or if you want it a lot easier, you can unscrew it. You have the Venturi switch as well, and that's redirecting airflow on the inside of the second stage and preventing a free flow. The mouthpiece itself, uh, soft silicone, fairly standard, nothing too fancy, and a traditional cable tie holding onto that, and then a relatively compact uh, exhaust tee uh, down at the bottom. Right, so reviewing the NX700 LS200, um, first of all, the name isn't great, that's, that's a lot to go on, um, but the regulator itself is wonderful. Um, it, First of all, who's it for? Um, this is a all-rounder kind of regulator. Um, XD wanted a single second stage, sorry, a uh, single first stage that would work on single cylinders, twin cylinders, twin sets, um, side mounts, whatever kind of configuration that you wanted. And they made that in the NX700, a, a fixed swivel turret. So that turret that can rotate, um, minimizing failure points so you don't have as many uh, sort of low pressure ports or on this swiveling turret, uh, but it's also fixed as well if you want it to be. So if you want them routing in a certain direction, then boom, there it is, you can lock it. Uh, if you don't want them, you want them to fully rotate, you can have that, you can do whatever you want. Um, so very, very clever, a good uh, sort of all rounder. So as far as reviewing it, first of all, looking at performance, five out of five, I was surprised at how smooth this breeze. Um, and I've used a lot of regulators in my time. I've tested a whole bunch. And this, when I first hooked it up, I didn't really have too many preconceptions because XDeep haven't really made regulators before, so I didn't really know what they were going to make. And the first few breaths of this is just silky smooth. Some regulators, you can get a, a raspy, you get the air, but it's not quite so smooth. Whereas this one, very, very smooth and, uh, and silky, so a lovely breathe. And fully adjustable, you have all the Venturi and the breathing adjustment switches. As far as weight goes, um, considering it has all of that swiveling and, uh, and extra sort of bits and bobs, it's, it might look like a bit of a chunk of metal, but actually there are a lot larger first stages and a lot heavier first stages as well. Um, the second stage itself does have a bit of weight to it, um, but not bonkers amount of weight. Um, so I'd be perfectly happy, uh, so they're traveling with this again. 
it's um it would be a lovely regulator to dive at home and then pack it in your bags to uh, to travel abroad with uh, i wouldn't be worried about uh, sort of ruining uh, any baggage allowance or anything with it um then on to the the extras and the kind of the the features of the regulator are uh, five out of five easy with that unique swiveling turret that you can lock and breathing adjustment and everything that you get on the second stage that's kind of everything that i expect you've got the heat sink fins environmentally sealed all that kind of stuff so that ticks all the boxes uh, then on to cost so this is at the this was surprisingly inexpensive um, when i looked at it in the sort of the whole range of costs of regulators i was expecting it to be quite high but actually it was quite mid-range it was a very reasonable price and what you get it's a lovely lovely regulator so five out of five again so as an all-round score 10 out of 10. The only places where I can fault it is in that 232 DIN fitting, which if you don't have a 300 bar cylinder, it's not an issue for you anyway. Um, otherwise, I can't really fault it. It's a lovely, lovely regulator. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for, uh, for something a little bit different, something that's very, very practical uh, that you can dive at home and abroad, yeah, definitely something that you should be considering. Okay, so that's the X-Deep NX700LS200 with the 76 centimeter hose configuration. Um, yeah, a great sort of starter regulator. Not the best name, um, a bit of a mouthful, but the, the regulator itself makes up for it. It is a lovely regulator, very smooth breathe, um, fully adjustable uh, in that sort of first stage. You can have it in whatever kind of configuration that you want. Uh, yeah, there's very few faults that I can uh, sort of pull out on it. Definitely worth checking out. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Just click on the link down in the description below to check it out. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.